Greetings everybody, welcome back to another video. On this week's video, I'm going to show you how to uh, create hyperlapse and slow-mo videos in DaVinci Resolve. Now, there's a lot of uh, cameras and devices that have features that let you create these videos on the device itself. Uh, but for some of you who don't have those type of cameras and devices, I'm going to show you how you can import the clips into DaVinci and create those uh, type of videos uh, in it. So let's first start off by uh, importing uh, the clips. Now I created two videos earlier that I'm now going to import into DaVinci. I'll go to edit timeline. Now the main difference in terms of hyperlapse and slow-mo it's just a matter of changing the clip speed or the the speed of the video so um, hyperlapse are pretty much uh, just uh, a video that been speed up um, so first of all if we don't really need no audio here Uh, we play this clip through. Now this is a uh, normal clip speed. See, I start studying my recording here. Maybe I should just cut it off here. Just cut this part. I mean, if you plan to do a time lapse video, you want to have a very steady shot all throughout that clip. So, and um, this is as steady as I could get it. I mean, I have a gimbal to steady the shot, but there is some minor movement in it. I mean, in DaVinci, you could, you know, apply stabilization to it to to make it more stationary. Uh, to create, you know, a more uh, more steady time lapse. Which, uh, if you're interested, you know, leave in the comments below, and I'll show you how to use the stabilizer in uh, the picture as well. But basically, right now, you just right-click and go to change clip speed. Now, I'm gonna change it to 2,000. Now, if you want an even shorter clip. Uh, you could increase the, the speed, uh, you know, to 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, uh, if you want a shorter clip. Um, by doing this so, I kind of save it to about 10 seconds because I have a 3 minute clip. And you want to do a ripple sequence. Yeah, about a 10 second clip. You see it's a little choppy because it have to uh, drop a lot of frames. What you could do is you could generate uh, an optimized version of this clip. Here is a perfect example of what we could use the hyperlapse for is to fast forward this part. So, um, yeah, um, showing you how to use a hyperlapse while the video is a hyperlapsing. <laughs> so I'm going to talk to you in a bit. Now that it's finished uh, optimizing, now if I didn't hyperlapse that previous uh, clip, you would have uh, spent uh, three, four minutes looking at my ugly mug, but instead of you know 10, 20 seconds. Now we play it back. It's now a little smoother. This is what a hyperlapse video looks like. I'm 
sure you, if you apply some stabilization, that would be make for a really nice time lapse clip. But that's pretty much how you uh, do hyperlapse uh, to speed up your clip. Now I'm going to import another clip where I'm going to do a small slow mo. Um, you may have recognized this as a clip I used in my previous video, the, my Nutpecker vlog. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I leave a link up in the corner for you to go check out uh, my previous video. But um, basically, you know, I'm just going to delete the audio because we really don't need it. Now we just gotta change the the clip speed to slow it down. You know, um, I gotta change it to twenty percent. You see the the clip kind of uh, stretched out. Now if you want your clip to be a little shorter. You may want to not slow it down to twenty. You may want it, you know. Uh, so down to 40% or 50% but uh, if you want your clip to you know be longer then you know you uh, shave it down to uh, below 20% but I found that if you make it too you cut it down too much it would make your image jittery um, usually uh, if you were planning to do slow-mo videos you would record your video at a high frame rate like 120 frames per second uh, 60 frames per second will give you uh, okay uh, quality but for ideally if you plan to create a slow-mo video you want to record a, your video at 120 frames per second but you could get by with just 60 anything uh, below 60 you know you you're gonna have a lot of uh, artifact in your video a lot of jitteriness in your video and it wouldn't look that good so that's pretty much how you create you know hyperlapse and slow-mo videos in DaVinci Resolve. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please leave in the comment below and I would get back with you. And if you enjoyed this little tutorial, you know, uh, hit the like button uh, and make sure to uh, subscribe to my channel to uh, get up to date of uh, new videos. And the notification bell to get notified of new videos. As always, everybody, have a nice day, and I see you on the next video.